Hello, everybody. Hope you all can hear me. Uh, I wanted to uh, <laughs> go live this morning, so I'm in the gym, so um, that's why I have this on. So hopefully you all can hear me. But I wanted to um, talk about why I am not free, and this is. <laughs> coming from things that's happened this week and of course last month you all who followed me know that um, I had nine people reach out to me for speaking engagements but it didn't work out because they couldn't afford my prices <laughs> um, but that was last month but things have even happened this week not around speaking engagements just around my other products um, like my courses and so forth so I wanted to get on here and talk about that but also just give you some tips and how to charge a value Okay, no matter what it is, um, how to charge your value. So, first and foremost, um, this week, the main one that stuck out to me is that um, I have like a new system set up that I paid somebody to do, where you can go to my site and you can pick if you want to work with me, if you want one-on-one, -on -one, if you want to me speak um, to your employees, <laughs> or you want me to speak you know, the high school, college students, whatever it may be. But, you know, people have been reaching out this week. And um, one did not make sense. Um, and so when I seen that it didn't make sense, I realized we needed to change some of the stuff up with my system because I, I emailed the person, I, you know, emailed a few people like, what exactly did you need? And one person asked me, um, they wanted to know more about how I sell my books in bulk. So I don't sell my books one by one. Um, I would have to promote a lot more in order to do that. I sell my books in bulk. And um, I have an ad going about selling 500 books in three days. Last week I sold 100 books in a day, those kind of things. So they just wanted to basically pick my brain. All right, <laughs> they wanted to pick my brain. And I told them, I said, I told them they wanted to know how to do it. And I said, well, I sell the group. If you want to know more, here's the link to the um, the webinar and here's a discount code, all of that. Did you think I seen anything bought? Nope, because they just wanted me to give them some tips. Understand this. <laughs> if you're reaching out to an entrepreneur that you know has a business, they're not free. And what this right here, what's in here is not free. That's what it is. Like we're infopreneurs, infopreneurs. We don't have products. I mean, I have products, I got books and courses. But we're mostly service-based. So what you're paying for <laughs> is what we have in our head. What you're paying for is our experiences. So when I used to, I still do one-on-ones every now and then. Um, that was another thing. Somebody wanted to sit down with me one-on-one. -on -one. That was another thing that happened this week. Want to sit down with me one-on-one. -on -one. Sent them my link to schedule a um, one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. Uh, so no, I can't help you get out of your tens of thousands of dollars of debt for free. That's what you're wanting to do. You want to me to show you how to get out of tens of thousands of dollars of debt and you want me to show you for free. What, in what world do we live in that that happens? Like if you want somebody to help you get to the other side of something, you're going to have to pay for it. Okay? <laughs> you're going to have to pay for it. Now don't get me wrong. With my friends, my close friends, my family, I do give advice. This week I've given advice at least to like six or seven people. Because if it's something simple, I can do it like that. I'm gonna just talk to you for five minutes and help you handle your problems, that's it. But if I don't know you, and you just coming out of the blue, want me to help you and all that stuff, then no, you need to pay for one-on-one, -on -one, period. Okay, you need to pay for one-on-one, -on -one, period. So, like I said, you, when people are charging, they're charging to help for you to help you get from one point to the next, right? And sometimes skip a lot of points, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people say, you know, Janae, I know you charge thousands of dollars to speak. Like, why is that? Um, if it's only for, you know, it might say, they say 50 people or it's only for two hours or an hour and a half. That you're not charging me for the people in the room. You're not charging me for the time I'm spending. You're charging, I'm charging you for the value that I'm gonna bring. If I'm speaking to high school students and I'm showing them, as well as their families, how to financially get to college, and not only financially get to college, I 
how to make sure that you actually get to the graduation stage. And so I'm probably saving those families tens of thousands of dollars for just one student in your audience. Now you put 50 in there, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm saving those that you serve. And so yes, I charge thousands of dollars to speak because I'm charging my value. So that's one of my tips to you all. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to understand how to monetize the value you bring so that you can explain it. Um, you know, it's, it's people who are service-based um, entrepreneurs, they may be coaches, they may be speakers, they may be, you know, they may have a product like an author and so forth. You have to be able to explain that to people. Um, Able Office just, just popped on, Danielle. Danielle did my Dubsado. So if you need Dubsado, uh, reach out to Danielle, Ava Office admin. She brings value <laughs> by far, right? So she charges me for the value. She charges me for setting up a system that I could not set up at all, not at all. Don't have a chance of doing what she did. <laughs> and she did it with ease, but it is going to it's a system that is going to take some work out of my life okay take a lot of work out of my life and set things up that seamlessly in my process like that that was my goal this year i needed to simplify my process some way somehow and this is one of the ways so this is the first step and i and you know it's done now so when people reach out on my website it sets up workflows that just seamlessly go through without me having to set up multiple emails like I've done in the past. You know, people can schedule calls with me. I don't have to call and ask them, you know, what we want to talk to send a hundred emails back and forth. It's done because of her and her company. That's value. She's charging for that to make my life easier in my business so I have more time to do money making activities for myself. That was a clear example of what I'm talking about. So if you're an entrepreneur out here, let me slow this down. Because as you all know, I am not in shape. Okay, I took a deep breath already in this mask doesn't help either. But if you're an entrepreneur, especially someone who's in service-based industry, you need to be able to put a number to the value you bring. And it's not about the time you have spent, um, you know, the money you have to spend on your website. It's not the money that, like, like for example, I'm never going to tell a college that, oh, I had to pay so-and-so for to set up my dub side. I had to pay this amount for my dub side, so you need to pay me this. No, <laughs> they don't care. So don't tell other people that. Don't tell people that, oh, I had to pay for my website this month, or I had to pay for my interns or my virtual assistant, blah, 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 blah. They don't care. They care about the value you're gonna bring. That's what they're paying you for. Whenever I put, like I said, I get paid thousands. Like not two thousand dollars. I'm not saying thousands like that. I mean thousands to go speak for an hour and a half. I better be able to justify that value, and I have it down to a science. It doesn't matter who I'm going to speak to, what client is reaching out to me. It's just like this. And once I explain the value and what the outcomes are going to be and what they have been for over now, that's spoken in front of over the last ten years about ninety thousand people. Like the receipts are there, but I don't even probably show the receipts. I had one speaking engagement with 100 people two weekends ago. They sent me the evaluation from the people. Just positive. 4.9 4, 4. out of 5. You think I've shared that with anybody? Shown anybody any of that feedback? Nope. I keep forgetting about it. But I have that confidence knowing that I've made a difference over the last 10 years and that confidence shows up in the, the number you see when I talk to you about what you're going to pay me. <laughs> my speaking engagements, right? The same thing with my uh, speaker program. I have two speaker programs that pretty much walk you step by step of how I started my business. And then the second program pretty much walks you through how I've grown my business to the next level, right? It's a certain price. I think right now, like last time I looked, I think it's like $6.97. But you do it right, you get that back in like no time. Like, it's nothing. Like, at my first speaking engagement 10 years ago, was $1,500. So, if I'm showing you how I started my business and it started with $1,500 for an hour and a half speaking engagement, 
and it was six ninety seven. You gotta be able to invest in yourself. But that is definitely I think that's all I wanted to share with you all this morning. It was on my mind because of at least those two instances that happened this week. Um with people wanting to just, you know, pull this out for free to help them make money. That, just, just think about that. Just think about that for yourself. Like if you ever ask anybody not to pick their brain. Like if you say, first of all, you say pick your brain, pick my brain in the message, it's over for you. <laughs> Don't ever use those words. Um, but just just think about it when you talk to people that what the questions I'm asking them. Is it gonna make my make me money? Is it gonna make my life better? And if it's an entrepreneur that you're talking to, then why would you think that they don't deserve to be compensated for that? That's what entrepreneurship is. We come up with ideas that makes your life easier and we get paid for it. That's what it is. That's what any company has been. All right? And the same thing with service-based entrepreneurs. So please, please don't forget that. And if, and if you are an entrepreneur, just know how to um, explain your value to people. Um, especially if you have um, high-end products, okay? How to explain your value to people so that they don't <laughs> be like, what, it costs that much, blah, 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 blah. You didn't explain your value right. And, and I've done that sometimes when people say to me, um, I don't know, that's a lot. I haven't explained my value enough because they're putting me in the same category as everybody else who does financial literacy or personal finance. So that is on me and I have to do a better job. So if you, if you find people um, complaining about your prices or, um, you know, not seeing them no more after you give them your price, think of it two things. You may not be explaining your value the best way. And another thing, you may not be attracting the right clients either. That's another thing. Um, I'm at the point in my business the last couple of years, I'm able to weed people out. Like if they say, oh, that's a little high for our budget. Okay, well, hopefully we'll be able to work in the future. Um, you know, next year or the next year when your budget is higher. And that's how I leave it at that. Move on. Don't try to beg nobody to do nothing now. You can't afford to do that if you're an entrepreneur. Like this stuff ain't free. Life ain't free. The power company don't care about, <laughs> you know, that this person didn't want to pay your, your number. You need to find people who can pay the number, period. And you need to find more people like them as well. So, yeah. So I hope everybody's having a good start to their Thursday. I'm just trying to understand why all these treadmills out here and these two people are beside me, like one over for me. Like, it's a whole nother row over there. That's why I don't come early in the morning. Because I don't want people beside me. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I think that was all I wanted to share with you all. Um, just make sure you charge your value and to be able to, uh, <laughs> I know Zion, be able to be able to explain it so you can monetize it the correct way. Um, I had to learn that over the years. I, I used to, I remember probably about six years ago, seven years ago, I used to talk about the, I used to talk about the features, the features of what I offer. Like it's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna come to Kansas, I'm gonna come to your company, and I'm gonna speak, blah, blah, blah. It was features. When I started selling benefits and what's in it for them, so here's another tip. Sell benefits, sell outcomes, sell what's in it for them. Once again, I use Danya for an example, Ava. Ava off the bat, man, she's on here. She's um, set up my Dosado, but they, her company does a lot of other things. Um, but she's selling me saving time, saving a headache. I hate admin work. <laughs> she is saving me from that. My virtual assistant, Ashley, she saves me time. She multiplies what I can do, okay? Because she makes phone calls on my behalf. So in my system, the way that I do things, she's able to take one of the things I used to do and do it, you know, that's what she does. Setting up emails for me. That's saving me time so I can do more money making activity. That's what I'm spending money on. That's what I find value in. If you can free up my time to make more money doing what I do best, then that's what I, I you got my attention. You got my attention easily. 
okay? Easily, you got my attention. And then if it pans out and I see results, like return on investment within a couple of weeks of me putting a plan in place and putting a strategy in place or putting a system in place, then you definitely approve your value and we're gonna to continue to work together, right? We're gonna to continue to work together. I got some things that I need to hire for now. And I'm only gonna give, you know, who, the people I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna give them a couple of weeks chances. And if you're not, not seeing a return on investment, not seeing no leads come in, like promising leads, then you're done. Because that is what I'm paying for. I'm paying for you to take things off my plate. And as you take those things off my plate, the things you take off my plate are turning into $10,000 contracts. That's what you're going with. Because I don't want, I can do it, but if I keep doing it, that's, I can't multiply it. I need people to help me multiply the amount of emails I sent out, the amount of phone calls I need to make, the amount of contracts that need to be done. And I don't mind paying for it because I'm paying for something, you know, per hour or whatever, and it's turning into ten, fifteen thousand dollars contracts. So my business owners out there, that is kind of like the next step. That's the step I'm at now. The first step when you're starting off, and I know we get into something a whole different, but I want to still share this. The first part of your business when you're starting and everything is that you are doing a lot of the things yourself. Okay? You're doing a lot of the things yourself because every all the money is going back into your business. But once you get to the six-figure mark, I mean, you can get to the high five-figure mark. It's time to start hiring people. Okay, and start hiring people. At least one person to help you, a virtual assistant, um, so that you can pretty much multiply yourself. And that's where I'm at now. I'm trying to multiply myself. I've already multiplied myself out once. I need another person and I'm going to reach out about a PR person but uh, as an intern so maybe one of the college students I've served um, as well so hopefully to have within the next month three people on my team building it up um, on that part of my team all right so the next part once you get to high five figures or six figures is to start hiring out to multiply your efforts okay so that you can bring even more money in and and get into the high the high six figure mark. That's when I, that's my goal now to get in the high six figure mark. And I got to multiply myself and I got to let go of some control and in order to do that. So I'm learning and understanding that the money that I'm paying people is multiplying into thousands of dollars. So that's what is important. All right. So everybody have a good Thursday. I'm gonna actually start running now. Um, uh, actually exercise for real. I'll talk to you all soon.